So yet another opportunity coming up for engineers and without gate score, yes, RCFL, that is Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited, a Navratna PSU has announced a recruitment for the year 2023. Okay, so when you go to the recruitment page of the website, you will be seeing the detailed advertisement for the post of management training. Yes, it is for the empty post. Okay, and there are some posts for legal, which is not for engineers interest, but yes, so for the post of management training materials, well, I'll quickly tell you what are the branches eligible for it okay so uh, the uh, online application has started just yesterday that is 17th of uh, 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 November today we are on 18th November and if you want to apply online you can just click here and you will be landed to the uh, application form page but whether you want to apply or not whether it is beneficial for you or not let's see the complete details so you can just open this you click here to the download advertisement the complete PDF will open I'll share you the PDF later uh, in the description as well as in the uh, telegram group Okay, so as of now, I've downloaded and let's look into the important points of this. As I mentioned, okay, RCFL being uh, the Navratna PSU, okay, has announced the recruitment and how many other vacancies? Okay, let's have a quick review and the eligibility criteria. Okay, so for the management trainee, there are 23 posts. Okay, 23 posts, a uh, not a very big number, but still, you know, I always keep suggesting you, even if it is one or two posts, somebody has to work for it. So you should fight for it if you're truly really confident on yourself. Okay, so, uh, and, and, and it's, as I told you, it's a separate uh, written examination. It is without gate score. So there'll be written plus interview. Okay, written, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the mode of written examination, the pattern, everything they have mentioned in this detailed advertisements. I'm going to tell you that as well. Okay, so now, what is the educational qualification you need? Okay, and your age will be counted as on 1st of September. So, age limit will be bata denge. So, regular full-time BE or B.Tech in chemical, petrochemical, mechanical, okay, electrical, instrumentation. Okay, these are the branches eligible. So, I can say electronics, so civil not eligible from the regular branches. Of course, computer science also not el el uh, eligible. Or if you have, if you have dual time degree also, that also you are eligible. Okay, the regular full-time, but the regular and full-time dual courses are also available like B.Tech plus M.Tech if you have or something like that. Okay, or in case you have the three years full-time B.E. B.Tech, okay, from the same branches, okay, acquired after three years regular and full-time diploma. Okay, so degree plus diploma also eligible. Okay, so full degree and degree plus diploma and even dual degree. These are the branches eligible. Minimum percentage is 60% required, but normally most of the companies say for the entire uh, B.Tech, but this is only for the final year. Okay, you should have minimum 60% in the final year. Okay, and there is relaxation, of course, up to 55% for SCST category candidates. The ma age limit as expected for most of the PSUs, they have kept it as 27 only. Of course, there are some relaxations. Okay, uh, for category, of course, for SCST, it is 30 to 5 years of uh, regular relaxation and uh, for OBC, it is 30 years, right? Now, next important bullet points to be noted, there are some posts, as I mentioned, for legal, but that is not for your interest. Okay, so now, uh, what are some important other things? Okay, uski baat kar lete hai, that you might be interested into. Okay, and then soon we'll come to the exam pattern. Okay, soon we'll be coming to the exam pattern. Yeah. So, application fee. Okay, it's thousand rupees. Okay, plus uh, bank charges and applicable GST. Okay, so uh, that is the application fee in case you want to apply. Okay, yeah. So, what is going to be the work location? So, the nature of job of management trainee, it has the two units. One is in Alibak, one is in Mumbai. Okay, so uh, the working locations are also mentioned for you. Okay, that is also very clearly mentioned. Now, let's come to the very important part. Of course, uh, like most of the PSUs, you will be first absorbed as a trainee. Okay, as a management trainee for one year. Okay, you will be undergoing training for one full year. Okay, and the, during the training time, you get the stipend, okay, which is 30,000 per month. And the lodging facilities, the free lodging facilities will be provided at the company's hostel. Okay, if you are posted at the uh, Alibag and the Mumbai, okay. Uh, Okay, for centers, uh, you know, if you have the training other than these two locations, that is the Bombay and Alibag, uh, Trombay is in Bombay, Thal is in Alibag. Okay, so then you will be given a fixed allowance of 2500 per month towards the lodging and all. Right, now, once you complete, after the successful completion of the one year training, okay, you will be absorbed in even grade. Okay, your job will start at the even grade in the pay scale of 40,000 to 1,40,000. Okay, the monthly gross, uh, the monthly gross, 
mul means okay will be 81900 okay and uh, you know of course here the basic pay element is there but other than that like most of the psus uh, you know you get the additional perks the hra and all the you know medical facilities canteen facilities and etc 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 okay provided once again the very important thing other than that is the job security is the job security which is very important in today's competitive world you should always take that into account okay next important point a very important point selection procedure ki baat kar lete hain dear okay now let us talk about the next very important point selection procedure okay so there will be an online test as i told you and personal interview okay kis ratio mein interview ke liye bulayenge kya hai online test everything is mentioned okay so in this particular online test in this particular online test there will be two sections one is your branch specific and one is going to be aptitude right it's going to be computer based so that's what i mentioned it's online examination okay the centers are also mentioned it will be the test will be in bhopal delhi or delhi ncr okay lucknow hyderabad bangalore chennai guwahati kolkata mumbai navi mumbai thane mmr nagpur etc medium of test will be both english and hindi okay whatever language you are comfortable with okay chalo thoda sa ab iske pattern ko samajhte hai to basic details ho gayi yeah here it is okay the online test will have two parts discipline and aptitude related okay the total duration will be one and a half hours that is the 90 minutes okay the total number of questions will be 100 okay 50 will be okay from mix of course curriculum of qualifying degree okay and 50 from the general part which includes and english the general aptitudes english general app quantitative aptitude reasoning okay and general knowledge and awareness of one mark each okay so point to be noted is in the general section english quant reasoning everything is there just like gate but general awareness is also there so if you are prepared for both gate and esc then you are uh, you know, totally prepared for this and 50 questions from your branch specific okay and all the questions are one marker each there will be negative marking for the wrong answer which they haven't mentioned okay so maybe it could be one third or one fourth but they haven't clearly mentioned but there will be at, at least they have alerted you ki negative marking hogi maybe after the admit card release they might tell exactly the uh, negative marking okay exact date of online tell will be communicated through your admit card which you can download from the same website okay so maybe uh uh, you know whenever the admit cards are available at least two to three weeks after that the exam will be there but you have to be prepared from now on only don't wait for the admit card to come and all okay now coming to the interview part you will be called for the interview in the ratio of one is to seven so like i mentioned there are 23 posts right so uh we can say approximately 160 candidates will be called up for the interview okay to fill up that so one is to seven is a decent ratio because many companies call one is to five so once you reach that interview mark okay uh interview mark that will also good achievement for you you can prove yourself in the interview but final selection is not only dependent on interview there's a big rateage only for written so written plays a very dominant role in this examination Agar aap dekhenge, so 80 percent okay will be for the written online test examination and 20 percent will be contributed to the interview okay so that is the weightage okay so maximum weightage will be given to your online test marks definitely 20 percent weightage to your interview and then the sum total okay uh, the weighted sum total will be calculated okay and then your final ranks whether you're selected or not will be announced and also before you join up there will be as always a pre-employment uh, medical examination which you have to clear once you start your posting right so now how to fill and all all these details are given so i'll share you this pdf okay so yes if you feel that you are well prepared okay and if you are under the stage of preparation okay uh, so do definitely miss up this opportunity also if you are a gate 2024 aspirant also currently in the preparation the seats already november november uh, 18th okay so you must have done uh, most part of the syllabus exam kal to nahi hone wala. we can expect exam in next one or two months or later okay sometimes they put it very later also but at least not immediately maybe after one or two months exam will be there by that time you will cover up the whole syllabus also so even the aspirants who are preparing for gate 24 okay and if you fix the fit the eligibility criteria age criteria then you can also apply for this examination because you are already into the touch of preparation and syllabus is technical plus aptitude just a general awareness part is extra other than the gate that you can manage okay so that for them also it's a good opportunity so i think gate 2023 and 24 both aspirants can try to fill up this gate 2023 ka exam they took you what you need to do is take up your notes start revising it okay be prepared for the exam maybe one month two months later whenever it is you just start to preparation because if anyways in the upcoming time lot of exams are there for you na isro is yet pending okay nil it is going to come up 
bell examination is there uh, in december so a lot of exams are there so i think many of the students are already in touch they ek festival type chal raha you know you are already preparing lot of exams are there some of the dates are still not announced but you are revising it's good you keep revising your vacancies are being added up okay like few days back there was a vacancy from beml as well so these will keep adding up you prepare somewhere or the other you will find yourself successful bye bye thank you stay safe and take care